Today is Safe for Internet Day, a day celebrated across the globe in over 170 countries, with thousands of children joining in across the UK. It's a day we celebrate all great things about being online and remind ourselves how we can stay safe. A big part of Safe for Internet Day is thinking about all the amazing things we can do online. I'll show you some examples now and I'd like you to put your hand up if you enjoy them too. Playing games. Chatting to your friends. Video calling friends and family. Learning new things. Listening to music. Watching videos. I'm sure there were many hands going up at home. There are so many wonderful things to do online and I'm sure there are lots more that you enjoy that weren't mentioned here. While you are working on activities this week, you may get a chance to talk about these again. This year for Safer Internet Day, we're looking at trust online. Let's have a think. What is trust? I'm going to give you 30 seconds to turn and tell the person next to you what you think trust is and then we'll come back together and discuss this further Share with someone at home what you think trust is. Talk to someone at home. What is trust? Thank you for sharing your ideas. Trust is when we have a strong belief that someone or something is honest and tells the truth. For example, you might trust your teacher is telling the truth when they say that you have a school trip coming up but you might not trust your little sister is telling the truth when she's covered in chocolate and she says she didn't eat the last chocolate bar can we trust everything we see online give me a thumbs up if you think we can trust everything we see online or a thumbs down if you think we can't trust everything we see online. I'm sure there were lots of thumbs down and that's right although there is lots of information online that is useful and trustworthy it is important to remember that there is also information online that is not so trustworthy and may even be there to try and confuse or persuade us. Can you think of any examples of things you've seen online that you couldn't trust? Discuss with those next to you at home. We are now going to play a game called Trust It or Check It. I will show you an example of something you might see online. I would like you to have a think about whether you would trust it or not trust it and check it with an adult. I will be asking for your thoughts on each example. We will also be looking at how seeing each of these examples online might make us feel. Thumbs up if you're ready. Great! If you saw this trade in an online game, would you trust it? or check it. Tell someone at home. This looks like someone is trying to make an unofficial trade. Agreeing on a trade should always be done using the official trading system in the game. This will make sure it's safe and trustworthy. Make sure that you feel the trade is fair before accepting. How would seeing something like this 
make you feel? Tell someone at home. If you saw this advert online, would you trust it or check it? Tell someone at home. It can be tricky to tell if an online advert is trustworthy or not. It's always best to check if you aren't sure. You could look up the advert separately online and speak to an adult you trust about whether it's real or not. If you saw this chain message online, would you trust it or check it? Tell someone at home. It can be worrying if you receive a chain message. It's important to remember that these are not true. However, if you are worried by what you have read or seen, it's always good to talk to an adult you trust. It's best not to share these on, as this might cause more people to worry. How would seeing something like this make you feel? Tell someone at home. This example looks like it could be a joke. People usually share jokes to make people laugh. They tend to be very exaggerated, or they can be sarcastic, saying one thing but meaning the opposite. I might even be trying to make fun of something or someone. It's important to read past the headline and look who it is written by. If you saw this competition online, would you trust it or check it? Tell someone at home. It can be really tempting to enter competitions online and sometimes they are genuine and you can win some great prizes. It can be helpful to think to yourself that if something seems too good to be true online, it probably isn't true. This might be an example of phishing. It's probably trying to collect personal information such as usernames and emails to gain access to people's accounts. Be careful about sharing personal information online and always check with an adult before entering any competitions. How would seeing something like this make you feel? Tell someone at home. If you saw this video online, would you trust it or check it? Tell someone at home. Remember that just like photos, videos can be edited too. You might also not be given the correct information. In this example, where it says first time trick shot, this probably isn't true and more likely took a lot of time and effort. How would seeing something like this make you feel? Tell someone at home. If you received this message online, would you trust it or check it? Tell someone at home. Make sure you always keep your personal information safe online. If a stranger online asks to meet up for any personal information or for pictures or videos, it is really important not to share any of these and to tell an adult you trust straight away. They can help you and make sure the correct action is taken, like blocking the user so they can't contact you again and making a report. How would you feel seeing something like this? Tell someone at home. Good job everyone! It was great to hear your thoughts. Hopefully you are now able to answer my next question. What should we do if we see something and we're not sure if we can trust it online? Tell someone at home. Think of yourself as an internet detective. 
and actively try to find out more. It's really important to question things online. Ask yourself, what is it trying to get me to do? What are the risks? You could ask an adult or look on another website or app. Three is a good number to check. You could also look in a book. Being an internet detective will help you to become more aware and make sensible decisions on whether something is trustworthy online. But remember, just like in the game we played today, we also need to think about how what we see online makes us feel. Tell someone at home what we should do if we see something online that makes us feel upset, scared, angry, worried or confused. There are lots of things you can do to get help, but most importantly, make sure you talk to an adult you trust for help. This could be an adult at home or at school. Remember, there is lots of information when you go online, some true, some not. Use the advice from this assembly to help you decide and to make sure you keep yourself and others safe when online. You'll be learning more about exploring reliability and trust online this week with your teacher. Thank you for joining in and sharing your thoughts. I hope everyone has a happy, safer internet day this year.